this is Renee Garcia, and you're watching Victory Videos. Welcome back. We've been looking at the life of Mylon Lefevre. Mylon made his mark very early on with the Allman Brothers, Eric Clapton, George Harrison, many of the biggies in the music business. But his success and fame became a part of his life. God and his son, Jesus Christ, became uh, but a childhood memory. His wife of many years began praying for him as he lived out his many fantasies, including a drug addiction that almost killed him. In 1974, after his heart stopped beating, it scared him, and he successfully broke his addiction to heroin with a cold turkey withdrawal and began attending Bible studies. Mylon's wife continued to pray for him as God began to work on Mylon's heart. But it was record producer Buck Herring of the group Second Chapter of Acts that invited him to play on Phil Keggy's Love Broke Through album, one of my favorite albums, in 1976. Buck's friendship and teaching helped Mylon to realize that he needed to surrender his life once and for all to Jesus Christ. This commitment to Christ in April of 1980 finally brought God's mercy and forgiveness into Mylon's life. Mylon didn't stop here. After being called into the ministry, he became an ordained minister, which really was exciting because that happened later on down in his life, and uh, this happened in his church at Mount Perrin in Georgia. He became an elder in the church in Atlanta, and the church still serves as his home base for Milan and Broken Heart Ministries. Well, it's summertime in Georgia, and we just got through doing the videos, and Jimmy brought the crew over to my house this afternoon so that I could just talk to you for just a second. Uh, I don't know what's going on in your life, but I just want to encourage you. These songs that we sing, they're about God because he's changed our life in such a good way that I can't ignore it. I used to just be a musician. Man, I gave my life to Christ about 10 years ago, and he, he has changed every part of my life in such a wonderful way that I know that his, the truth about him is the good news. And I just wanted to take just a minute and actually just say to you what I believe. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God and I believe he's alive, that God has raised him from the dead. And it's not just a matter of getting religion or, or joining a certain denomination. But man, I just wanted to take just a minute and encourage you to find out the truth about who God is and how he does things so that you can start enjoying his presence in your life. If you've never accepted Christ, it's very simple. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says this. If you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and you believe that God has raised him from the dead, if you'll confess Jesus with your lips as the Lord of your life, you'll be saved. Now, God knows what he meant when he said that. And he will reveal to you what he meant if you talk to him about it. That's all that prayer is. Uh, prayer is where you talk to God and you just hang out with God and you spend time with him and you get to know him better. Reading his word is the way he talks to us. He has other ways of doing it, but if he does it one of the other ways, it'll always agree with what his word says. So if you can get in his word, you ought to do that. I hope you'll find a good church to get involved in and that you'll uh, find a good Bible study, a good youth group, some friends where you can hang out with God's people and grow up, learn his ways, and uh, enjoy his presence. I'd like to have a little prayer with you. If you've never prayed and accepted Christ in your heart, you don't have to pray my prayer, but you could if you want to. I know it'll work because it did for me and lots of other folks. So I'm just going to pray this prayer slowly. If you want to, you don't have to do that now, but if you want to, you can pray along with me. You can uh, take this video home and, and watch it anytime you want to. If you desire to come to the Father with me and, of course, with Jesus right now, God is listening. And he will answer this prayer. If you pray this prayer that I'm about to pray, and you do it sincerely, I know without any doubts that God will change your life because he's done that for me. And it'll be in a good way that you'll like. 
So let's take just a second and have a prayer, okay? Father God, I believe that Jesus is your son. And Lord, I, I believe you've raised him from the dead. And today I just turn from my sins. I repent of my old way of doing things and thinking. And Lord, I just, with your help, God, I'm going to start doing things your way. So fill me with your Holy Spirit and come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and change my life. I'll start living for you if you'll teach me how. Fill me with your love. Give me a hunger and a thirst for your righteousness. God, reveal yourself to me as holy as you are. Cut the light on in my heart. And I will trust you. I do trust you. Jesus, you are my Lord. Amen. If you prayed that and you meant it, you're going to see God's going to change your life. He's already done it on the inside, and you'll see the fruit of His Spirit growing up in you as you get to know Him. Spend time in His Word. If there's anything I can do to help you to get to heaven, my phone number and my address is on the box that this video came in. If you're a teen in trouble, let me give you a number, 1-800-442-HOPE, H-O-P-E. There's some people there who care about you. I'll be praying for you. Walk with God, okay? God bless you, man. I'll see you.